So you want to play polka, kid. We'll see if you can play polka. So why the vlog? Um, I used to do something similar back in the day. Um, I find it interesting. I find it a way of expressing creativity. I recently took a trip to Vegas and was on YouTube. Um, found a bunch of other guys that are virtually card players that live in Vegas and that's what they do for a living. Um, all of them extremely talented, put out great content. Um, I believe they're all great card players. Um, Trooper comes to mind, Jeff Bosky, Andrew Niemi, um, Brad Owen, um, all great guys, great content, great card players. Um, so I have a challenge for myself um, that's coming up next, but I think it's kind of cool to keep track of your play, your life, things like that. Um, in video and then be able to go back and look back on those things and reminisce on memories, um, see what you did in card play, um, how you're advancing as a player, um, things of that nature. So I think the vlog is kind of a cool idea and a good way for me to outsource some of my creativity. Who's the sly dog? Who am I? So, first name's Brian, last name Schiller, AKA the Sly Dog. Um, where did I get the name Sly Dog? Uh, it was from a good friend of mine back in the day. We'll just say it had to do with the ladies. Um, played in a band, that's really where it came from. Um, but it's kind of stuck. Um, 35 years old. Uh, I live in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Um, been playing poker God, like 15 years, something like that. Um, poker I view as a lifestyle, um, or I'd like it to be my lifestyle, I guess. Um, but I own a company. Um, main business is hardwood flooring. Also make reclaimed furniture, art, anything that has to do with wood. I'm also referred to as the wood man. Um, I've been doing wood flooring for about 13, 14 years. Um, so I have a little company outside of Chicago. We service all of Chicago land, southern Wisconsin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, we've been in business three years, uh, we're pretty successful. Uh, our company continues to grow two times uh, every year, uh, twice of what we started, you know, so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, my company's kind of growing. Um, I've always had a hard time stepping away from my so-called baby, um, but I'm finally at the point where I can do that. I got some great guys that work for me that I trust dearly um, with my business and um, so my role is more of the paperwork and the estimates and things like that. I still work in the field from time to time um, which I'm sure I'll never get away from um, just because I love it so much um, and I think that's where a lot of my creativity comes with. Um, that's part of the reason for doing this vlog. Part of that plays into poker, things of that nature. Um, so yeah, we're currently in my office. This is probably where I'll review a lot of hands, things like that, um, for the most part. Um, so we'll call this Sly Dog Head Codas. Um, but yeah, um, I have a wife, two beautiful kids, um, happily married, and um, without them, I don't think I could have achieved any of the goals I have in life. Um, whether or not my wife supports my poker games, um, I know she does. Uh, I know she has confidence in me. She believes in me, and um, you know, 
she might think I'm crazy for doing a vlog, but uh, she'll get over it. She'll get past it. I'm sure you'll see her in many vlogs to come. Um, you know, she's the boss. Tells me what to do. Sometimes. But um, yeah, that's who I am. Um, you know, I call myself a rec player currently, uh, but we're taking the next step into becoming a, rec a grinder. And um, I've done something similar to vlogs in the past. Um, I used to run an outdoor website um, in the midst of all the other things I've done in my crazy life and uh, one of the things was was basically like a vlog vlogging our hunts um, things like that fishing trips etc etc um, so I've kind of already vlogged without technically vlogging so um, I guess this is more of an official vlog um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see how this whole thing comes together and you know, um, the challenge I've put forth on myself and, you know, where we're at now and where we could be in a year, year and a half. So um, it'll be interesting. I hope you hang on and, you know, continue on with the ride. How did I get into poker? Um, poker. So I think a good friend of mine, um, they called me and said, hey, we're having a basement game. You should come over and play. And you know, I remember as a kid playing five card draw, things like that, seven card stud, um, you know, for pretzels and candy or something of that nature. Um, so I went over and I sat in this game and it was kind of fascinating. Um, obviously, I learned not the greatest way and lost some money, but uh, it was a learning experience and um, it kind of brought in something that I was kind of missing. I've always been a blackjack player. Um, blackjack was always my go-to game when visiting the casino, I guess, um, things like that. Um, so I got into this game, uh, lost probably the first dozen times I played, um, continued to get better, grow at it. Um, I think my first big score in that game particularly it was on a Friday night obviously the day everybody got paid and I bought in for $40 in cash for a little over $1,300 um, kind of a crazy cash game long story but uh, I'm sure I'll bring that up in some vlog down the road um, so ever since then this was pre moneymaker era I guess you would call it um, but um, got more interested, got into it, um, made a trip. I believe it was the year Moneymaker won or the year after out to Vegas. Um, played in some tournaments out there, which was a great learning experience. Um, made back-to-back -back final tables down at Binion's one night, or two nights, I should say. Um, but it was, it was good overall. Um, I've picked up the game and dropped it. Over the years, um, at one point, you know, I was running a house with my brother and we were running games pretty much seven nights a week and it was a supplemental supplemental income, um, which was great at that time. Um, but as my career kind of grew, um, which I'll get into later, um, you know, kind of fell away from the game, picked it back up, fell away, picked it back up. And now I'm in a position where I can really play. Um, I can play more, you know, I'm not worried about money, so to speak, for playing, things of that nature. Um, so I've set forth this challenge for myself. Um, you know, going back to the guys uh, that I named earlier um, that have great poker blog, vlogs, um, I was kind of watching them and realizing that these are, you know, pretty well off, great players. And, you know, as I would consider myself a rec player at this point in time, um, I'm ready to make that next step. Um, so I 
really want to step up my game. I got some goals in mind, things like that. Um, you know, most of those guys are out in Vegas. I'm in the Midwest, um, right outside of Chicago. Uh, there's nobody really doing the poker vlogs um, out here. We have a ton of casinos, poker rooms, things like that, um, where I can go and play. So the challenge at hand is um, basically we want to become a grinder. Uh, we want to be a card player. You know, it's not something necessarily we're going to do full time. Um, you know, obviously I'd like it to be full time. I do have uh, a business that I run, uh, very successful. Um, so I got to kind of attend to that while I'm doing this. Um, so we've set out a chart of, you know, um, how we're going to start this off and where we want to get to and kind of what we want to achieve. So the start of this goal, I'm setting for um, not this year's World Series of Poker in Vegas, but next year's. Um, we want to make it out there. We want to play at least two events. Um, is it going to be the main event? I don't know. We'll see where the bankroll is at that point in time. Um, yeah, granted, I'd love to play in the main event. I think that'd be a great experience. Um, do I think I can win the great event or the you know main event? Um, I'd like to say yes, um, because if I say no, then what the hell's the point in playing in it anyway? Um, it'll take a lot of time to kind of build that up but you know overall I feel that um, I'm a decent tournament player uh, I've played in quite a few tournaments over the past few years I've placed really well made some final tables got you know busted out in the money I've gotten busted out early um, I usually f finish somewhere middle of the pack or up I've never been that first guy out whatever um, but you know, as we all know in poker, things happen. Um, so obviously that can happen. So basically, yeah, the main goal is to make it to the World Series 2018. Um, you know, what tournaments we'll play out there, not really sure. But um, we definitely want to play in two events. You know, whether it be the, the lower staked events or one lower, one higher main event and something else. Who knows? Um, but that's a goal of mine. Um, it's It's been kind of a goal for a long time um, since I originally played out in Vegas and uh, for the first time, I believe I was 23 and I'm 35 now. So um, yeah, we want to make it out there. Um, so we're kind of making it a year and a half long goal. We'll see kind of how it goes throughout this next year and um, you know, kind of make our judgments from there. I'm feeling pretty good about it, pretty confident, and I think that's the main key through this whole challenge is having confidence, um, not going on tilt, things of that nature, and just continuing, continuing looking forward rather than reminiscing on the past, the bad beats, the bad hands, things like that. Um, you know, obviously the biggest thing is just to better my game in general whether it be cash game, tournament, whatever it may be. Um, we just want to better our, myself as a poker player. And I want to take people along for the ride. And, you know, maybe my experiences can help somebody else. I mean, that's a, that's a good goal to have, you know. Um, I'm sure there's many, many, many other people out there that have the same kind of idea in their mind like I do. And... Um, if we can help somebody along the way, why not, you know? Um, and if it's as simple as doing these vlogs and posting videos and sharing our hands that we played, things like that, um, I think that could be helpful. I know some of the vlogs I've watched um, have definitely helped me as of recently um, in my playing. So, you know, um, it's going to be a hard challenge. Um, obviously, nothing in life is easy. But um, if we didn't have a challenge, then everybody would do it, right? So um, that's kind of the outlook on the challenge and the, the goals that I've put forth towards myself. And, um, you know, obviously I'll be talking about more individual, more specific goals as this whole thing goes along. 